When working with vector objects, it's important to take advantage of continuously rasterize. Vector objects, by their nature, are designed to be infinitely scalable. However, After Effects doesn't do this by default because it can really increase render time. Now, if we take a look at that, we'll see that there's some changes. Let's take a look by pressing S for scale. Well, if the continuously rasterized switch was disabled for that layer, and we view this at full quality in 100%, you might notice a loss in quality. After Effects does a good job on scaling, but the object isn't as crisp. You'll particularly notice that here, that the vectors just have gone soft. You can see the pixelated edge there, in fact. But with continuously rasterized turned on, it's able to draw that much more cleanly and create all new pixels from the vector data. Now, you might be thinking, this is great. Let me just turn it on for every vector layer. But be careful. Every time you enable continuously rasterize, it's going to increase the render time because the vector graphics are being redrawn on the fly. If you're not scaling over 100%, you might not need this option, even if the vector file was truly vector. You can scale up and down up to 100% and shouldn't really see a loss in visual quality. Now, it will vary from source to source, so the continually rasterize option is good to check, but try to use it sparingly unless you have adequate time for all your renders and outputs.